Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. It's time for some stampin'. Are you ready? I'm almost ready. Just let me get my computer going and I have to check a note because I don't remember. There, I'm up and running. Hang on one second. Oh. Going and I have to check a note. Oops, had to shut me up on the replay here. There we go. Okay. Hello. So what I had to check was I have a giveaway, but I couldn't remember whether it was tonight or tomorrow night. So thankfully, first of all, I remember that. First of all, I remember that there's a giveaway. Second of all, it's not till tomorrow night, so I'm good to go. I thought I had missed, but I didn't. It's tomorrow night. Hey, Jean. Welcome. Welcome. How's How's the weather in North Dakota? Is it getting cold there? Um, we had rain and stuff. Hi, Carmen. So today is really weird. I went, had to go grocery shopping because Mother Hubbard's cupboard was bare. And there would be no food for dinner if I didn't go shopping. Well, there would be. It's just not what I should be eating. And... I left with my sunglasses on. I went into the first grocery store, came out, and it was raining. Hey, Holly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so we're going to play with Eden's Garden tonight. This went live, what's the date today? Two days ago. So I used some of the designer paper and some die cuts. And look at that. There's that die cut that you guys wouldn't let me use on Friday on that card. I used it on this card. Now... This is called an arrow point card and it opens up like this and that's what the card is supposed to be. Hi Yvonne. This is what the card is supposed to be and then you were you write your stuff in there but I you know me I don't like cards like that. I like cards that have inside. So I just put it onto a card base. So you might you might notice there's a little gap in there. So I just put it on top of a card base. Um, if you didn't want that there, you could probably put it a piece over top and do it other ways, but that's the way I decided to do it. So you have to be really precise when you do this, except, oh, nice. That's a beautiful day, Jean. Yeah, I think we were like nine or ten. Um, my points didn't end up being symmetrical, so I just hid them with the sentiment and you don't know. Hi, Janet. Welcome. Yeah. And then there's those jewels. Now I'm going to get it up close to you so that you can see that elongated jewel there. I used it down in the point and it looks really good down there. This is the one... The other night, Janet said she saw somebody made a flower out of that, which is really pretty, but it uses a lot of those jewels. Now, the paper and the jewels are only available while supplies last. They're not going to be in the catalog. The stamp set and the dies will be in the catalog. Hi, Sharon. Oh, lovely, Jean. Lucky you. Yeah, we're in our rainy season. Our rainy season starts in October and goes until March. <laughs> it's our rainy season. Okay, Eden's Garden Stamp Set and the Coordinating Dies. Now, I've got another card for you made out of these dies coming up. Let me check the date on it. Um, The 8th. Monday. Monday, I'm going to do another card that I did with my sunshine club ladies last week and um they really enjoyed making it and and penny did a was a little bit outside the box and decided that she wasn't going to do it the way i wanted and you know what don't tell her but i think i liked her version better hi shannon so dies and stamp set and these are the jewels now, i've showed you these before these are red and if you kind of get them in the right light, they look red. But if you get them in 
Like if I hold it this way, they look red. If I tilt them like this, they look green. They look kind of evening evergreen. It's, they're the weirdest things. And there's those elongated ones. Oh, well, that's okay. You can use them with other stuff. Yes, Carmen, they would look really nice that way too. They would, they would. Okay, so let's see if I can remember how I made this card. Get it up there, hang it on. Okay, so I have, I have, I might just have to order more of this paper, you know? And some more of these doohickeys. I've got an order going in tonight. Hey, Val. I have an order going in tonight. So I think I might just add some paper and some some more jewels to it. Because I've been using this paper a lot. Okay. Evening Evergreen, eight and a half by five and a half. Scored at four and a quarter, you know, the usual base. Then I have a piece that is five and a half by four, no, five and a half. By five and a quarter yes so it's the same width as this it's just shorter because of that now if you wanted you could just make this full length and then you wouldn't have that you would you would just kind of glue it onto the base I just I didn't like it opening like that. I don't know. I just retrofitted it, you know, because I could. Five and a quarter by four um, basic white for the inside. And why do I have two pieces of five and a quarter by four? Oh, I know. Because you need to, you need a five and a quarter by four to cut this piece out as well. And then I have designer paper. I'm using different, apparently I'm using different pattern. For the front, this is the gold metallic to do the die cuts. This is um, soft succulent to die cut the sentiment piece out. And then this is for the, the sentiment. Now, the thing that's in behind the sentiment there, it's not really this. Hi, Connie. Yes, Jean, I hear you. I hear you. Okay, so I used this, but I didn't use this. I didn't use this part. I just cut off and used the ends here on the sentiment. See that? That's those. And this part in behind the sentiment, I cut two of these. So I cut this piece is, hang on, two by four and an eighth. So I cut one like that, and then I just flipped it around and cut the other one. And then this goes in the middle and I put my, these pieces on the end of it. Anyways, it'll all come clear. Hi, Norma. Thanks so much for joining me tonight, ladies. It's fun when I get to stamp with people. And you know, when I start, it's always a fear of mine that nobody's going to show up. I know. Okay, so I'm going to show you, first of all, how to score this. So I need a ruler and I need a pencil. And we need to measure down from the top two and one eighth of an inch. Like that. And two and one eighth, oops, two and one eighth of an inch. Like that. And then you need to find the center. So that's two and three quarters. Okay, so now I'm not cutting this. I'm going to score it. So let me get my... Get this out. I used my scoreboard for the last one. And I want to try this to see if it makes it a little bit um, easier. So I'm going to take that that mark there and this mark here and put them in the tracks like that and like that. Now I'm going to take my scoreboard and I'm just going to score it 
and then I'm going to pivot. I'm going to keep that in the track and pivot and put this. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry, I just had a, a brain fart. So I'm going to pivot this still in the in the track up there, and I'm going to put the fold line in the track down here, and I'm going to score that. Now make sure you score. Don't cut. You'll be disappointed if you cut. Now I'm going to put that mark in there and the center one in down here again, like this. And I'm going to score that. Now I'm going to pivot with this here pivot that and put the fold line in the track and this point in the track again and I'm going to score that okay now I did forget to tell you that this I don't told you it's five and a half by four and a quarter but it's or five and a half by five and a quarter scored at four and a quarter. Okay, so now I have my score lines. I don't know whether you can see them or not. They're, they don't get quite as deep as they do when I do it on my score machine. Then this is going to go fold back like that and like that so those are the two that go right up to the fold line they fold like this it's my bone folder like that okay and then so now we have that part okay then we fold the other one forward. Has anybody done this fold before? Have you done an arrow point card? And then you fold this this way and this that way. And that goes under there and there's your front. Now let's see if I got these even. Oh, it's still out. See, you got to be so careful when you do your measurements. That's why I decided that I needed to put that sentiment all the way across. Because if you put it on a card like this to my, um, my OCD eye, that would drive me insane having, um, the points at different heights. Let's see a while ago. Ah, a while ago. Nice. It's new to me. I don't think I've made one of these before, but that's okay. Okay. Now, you take your designer paper. Come here, designer paper. And this is five and a quarter by four. So I'm going to measure that in the middle. And I use my grid paper just because it's here. Okay, so I'm probably not let me just tilt my camera down a bit so you can see can you see the grid paper now okay just gotta wait till my camera catches up to me okay so you can see so i'm i'm eight is where the the thick line is so i know that's my center and then i just center this so one two and five eighths one two and five eighths that gives me the center. So I'm just going to mark the center like that. Now, what did I do with my trimmer? Because I need my paper trimmer back. I'm going to line that mark up with the track and line that point up on the track. Oops, it moved. Don't move. Get rid of my score blade because I need my cut blade cut that and then I'm going to flip it this way I'm going to put that point in and that point in 
like that and cut that. So now we've got the pieces for the front. And now we need one of these, five and a quarter by four. Oh, shoot, I was going to cut them both at the same time. Dang, I forgot. I, I like cutting them both at the same time because then they're, they are exactly the same and they will fit in. So I'm just going to lay that on there and just mark it where I want to cut it. There we go. Usually I cut stuff like that together, but I for completely forgot. So I'm just going to stick this in there and cut that on that mark. And then flip it over put and see I'm out a little bit at that corner. If I had a cut... Um, and just looking at that now, it's a little bit squared off on that corner. Oh, well, just do it, Mollet. Just bloom and well get there and do it. Okay, if it doesn't work, we'll trim it. This is why I like cutting them together. Okay, that's it for that. So now we have the piece that fits on here, like that. Then this is going to fit on here. And we open it up. This is the piece that fits. It only fits one way. There it is, I think. So you're going to, these pieces are going to fit on here like this. And then this one fits in here like that. So there's your inside and that's your outside. And then when you close this, you see the designer paper out there. Anyways, you'll see, you'll see when I get it together. Step one is to put adhesive on. Let me put my phone folder away. That one still had the thing on it, so I know that that one's new. Okay, put my adhesive on here. And I'm using my um, mat so I can go right into the corners. So that is going to fit on here. Now I left my pencil mark on so I knew where the bottom was. So it's my pencil mark is still there, so I know that's the bottom point. So now I'm just going to erase that. <laughs> it's a little bit of a cheat there. Okay, so there's that. Now, this goes on to the main card. Oh, I gotta move my, move this back up again. There you go. Okay, so now I put adhesive on that and I'm going to put it onto my full card base. I can do it without ripping my fingerprints off. And I'm just lining it right up at the top. Like that. There we go. Okay. Now, I'll put adhesive on here. Ah. 
I love this adhesive, but macaroni, it sticks to everything. All right. This is going to go down here in the corner. Like that. And this one. I got to line those points up at the bottom down here. Got to line those up down there. There we go. And now if I've done my job right, this is going to slide right in there and fit. And it's not. So I'm just going to do a little bit of trimming. It's just out a little tiny bit at the top there. Just take that off. That's because I didn't cut them both at the same time. And I knew I was going to regret that. There we go. That'll fit right in there like that. But I want to stamp it first. And see, you can't really tell that there's an extra piece on there. And there's your, there's the arrow part. So now, got to put some adhesive on here. Close. Oh, shoot, I did it again. Did this when I was making the card too. You gotta be really careful where you put your adhesive, how far up you put it. So you're going to fold this in like that. So you don't want it hanging out past the edge of that. I guess you could always could always put it here. This is the tricky part, getting the adhesive in the proper spot. Because you don't want it to be too out here too far or it will show. And you don't want it out here too far or you're going to end up gluing your thing, your card shut. And then flip it over and put adhesive on this part of the arrow. And there, there's the arrow put together. So let's just give it a good bone folding now. Make sure everything is nice and tight and This it's really quite fun to make this. It's just if you don't get the measuring right and you don't cut them both together, it can get a bit, be a bit of a pain in the patootie, but, eh, you know, it is what it is. I'm learning to let these little things go, you know. Life is way too short. There. I feel adhesive there. Where did I put my eraser? I put it back. That's better. Okay, so there's there's the card front. Is that pretty? I love that paper. <gasps> okay, my little point is not cooperating here. Come on. Okay. That was easy. I need to make sure that I know which way this is going in here before I do the stamping. Okay, that way. So I'm just going to stamp with... Um, what color did I use? I used soft succulent and I didn't get the flower out okay and I didn't get my sentiment either good lord I did the the inside and the front and not the middle 
It's a good thing my craft room is tiny and it's not too far away to get what I need. Okay, this is going to go on here. Right in the middle, like this. Oh, so pretty. Now, while I've got the soft succulent out, let's bring this in. This is the inside piece. And this is another image from the stamp set. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to go around the edge and put some leaves in there. And then one down from the top. Because why not? And then I'm going to do the same thing on the envelope. Well, sort of the same thing. There's the envelope. Oh, I think we should put some on the back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My internet just shut my computer down. Why did it do that? That's just bizarre. Hopefully the video's still working. My internet just oh, shut my computer down. There we go. Okay. So apparently my phone still works. I'm just going to put a row of these on the back. Because why not? Makes it pretty too. You can do the back just like you can do the front. The inside is done. So that's it for soft succulent. Now, I'm still here, good. I don't know what happened to my computer. You know, some, some days. We started having ads popping up on the, the program that we use to um, watch TV. And I had to, well, the grandkids were over tonight, and I had to get the oldest one to fix our ad pop blocker upper thing. I don't know what you call it. And make sure it was finished or stopping all those ad pop-ups again. Okay, this is just going to go right over the top. There we go. And the front one is going to be hello there. I love the sentiments in this stamp set. And the fonts are so pretty. Right in the middle. Like that. And then I thought I was done with soft succ succulent, but I'm not. Because I have to do the... I put leaves on the edges. You can see the, the leaves there. So that's this image. This is the one we used the other night. Just add a little bit of interest and not have all that white space on there. But I still have to have it that long where it's not going to cover up the... It's not going to cover up those points that are uneven. Okay, there we go. Now I think we're done. It's time to do some die cutting. All right, the dies. I'm going to put this one on here on the bottom, like that. Let's use a bit of tape to hold it in place. And then this one 
I'm going to cut three of these. I see I didn't clean my die out the last time I used it. I'm going to cut three of these and I'm going to cut the ends only of that, like that. All right. Stick that ready to go through. Put this on there. Put this on there. Move that over. Put the lid on. And away we go. Come on. Why are you not going through? There we go. Sometimes you just have to talk to your machine, you know? Okay. So I have this and it's cut one side. Take the pieces out of there. And now I'm going to cut the other side. And I'm going to try to line it up about the same on each side. Maybe. So I'm going to cut that. And that should fit in there, I'm hoping. And then I cut. Oh, shoot, I forgot I have to cut this upside down. This paper's got quite a stiff backing to it. I have to remember that. I don't use, the, haven't used this paper a lot. And it's really quite pretty. Okay, and I need another one of those. Let me just cut a piece of this hold it in place because I have to turn it upside down. Now these edges are different and I need to know which one I did so I know which one to cut out. Okay so this one. That one down there. I'll just take that one in place too. I gave myself lots of paper so I wasn't having to worry about fitting them all in. Okay, and the top, and away we go. Through my machine. So we had the grandkids over went and picked them up. They're homeschooled, so it wasn't like I had to go pick them up after school. It was in the afternoon from home to make sure um, the dogs were peed before we brought them out. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to do it upside down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm batting 600 here tonight. Yeah, so they came over and had dinner with us and played some games and hubby took him back and I'm alive and I have gotten almost nothing accomplished today my list is long <laughs> and it's still long yeah I should have cut these upside down shoot or I should have ripped the backing off of them that works too if you just kind of tear the cardboard off of those. Put this on here and then maybe I'll remember to cut this one. Okay, where did my tape go now? Well, I'll put it up here. Hello. Yep, it's going to be. It's been one of those days. I've been nattering online for almost all day okay there see that one cut through a bit better put that upside down like that
There's one. This one, I have to see if I can get the pieces out of it. Thankfully, it's not a lot of pieces come out of these ones. And their pieces are relatively big. Okay, one, two. And this is the third one. Yes, that is the most important thing, Carmen. It is. They decided that... Um, they decided that they were going to have A and W for dinner tonight. So they had A and W. I did not. Um, last night I cooked a chicken, chicken, spinach, and kale bowl with roasted sweet potatoes. Oh, it was so good. So I had some, had some of that with some sour cream on it. This is very good. Okay, I shouldn't be having to fight with these, but I because I didn't cut them upside down, and this paper is very thick. That's why. I am having issues with it but it's okay and of course I'm having issues and I'm and I'm getting upset and I'm getting hot <laughs> okay oops missed that piece there we go cutting all done let's just scoop all the bits up put them in the garbage Okay, we'll take this one off, and there we got the that for the sentiment. And hopefully, if I've measured correctly, then it should just slide right into there. Okay, so these pieces that I cut off from the triangle, we're not using those on the on the card, so they're gone. This is going to have, oh, I got it quite a bit wider than the last one, but that's okay. You know, it's fine. I'm fine with that. And then these get underneath here like this on each side. Like that. So now if I didn't want it to be that, that wide, this wide, I could just cut it in half and overlap it, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to put some adhesive. I think I'll put it on here. Come on. And we'll just put one on here. Okay, it's a little tiny bit wider than my white, so I'm just going to miter the corners and put them on like that because I don't want it to be I don't want it to be showing too much okay we'll do the same thing on the other side just about lost my silicon mat on the floor too okay this side There we go. That on there like that. See what I'm doing? Here we go. And then this is going to go on here. So we'll just get some adhesive on that. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I thought I put the adhesive on the wrong because I can't put it all the way across on the this piece but it's not it's not the sentiment that 
The sentiment needs it all the way across. Eh, that'll do. It'll do. Okay, now, to figure out where I need my adhesive, this one is not quite as as um, prevalent as this was because this is a lot darker than that one. But I'm still going to put this on here. Right like that. Oh, is that so pretty? Okay, so I'm going to put it this way so that I can and mark where I want it. Take my pencil and just draw where those points are because I can't go past there with the adhesive. Then I'm going to slide a couple of dimensionals in under that side. So this is going to go on here like that. And then I'm just going to pop these underneath like that, just to add a little bit more bling as if there isn't enough bling on this card already. Yep. Okay, let's get the adhesive on this. Now, this is the top side, and I don't want to put the adhesive right up there because I have, still have to slide those in afterwards. So I'm just going to put the adhesive there. And get my card straight. See if I can get this on here straight. And it goes right from one side to the other. So that sentiment piece goes is flush on each side. I like the dark one too, Connie. Or Jean. I do. I think that I think the dark one is really pretty. But then I'm really like an evening evergreen, which is really weird because, you know, when it first came out, I didn't like it at all. And I thought, ew. So usually when we get our pre-orders, when the new, the new colors come out, I buy two packages of each color because I like to be have my working package and then a spare package. And I only bought one of evening evergreen. That's how much I decided I didn't like it. Yeah. And now I'm going through more of it than I am anything else. Okay, I'm going to put I'm going to put a glue dot here and a glue dot there on both on all three of these. So my memories today have been coming up with memories of stamping up trips because this is usually the time of the year ah it's stuck to me this is usually the time of the year that we would have our our conventions our fall conventions so all these memories have been popping up of all these trips that i did over the past five, four, five, six years. I miss my trips. I miss visiting all my friends, all my demonstrator friends. Okay, well, that one's stuck now, so let's stay in there, I guess. <laughs> it's decided for me. There we go, and one in the middle. Oops. Oh, that rotten thing. Did you see that? It stuck to my finger and it pulled right off of there. It actually broke. There we go. So there's, there's the front of the card. What do you think? You like it? I do. I think it's pretty. Okay, get some adhesive on the piece for the center uh, 
and I haven't changed the blade on my paper trimmer yet because I haven't got them. They haven't arrived yet. So I have to I have to trim this. Didn't cut very well. That's okay. There we go. Thank you. It's hard not to be pretty with this designer paper, I'll tell you. So I'm going to slide that in, line it up on one side, it lines up on the other side, and there we go. Except for the glue that's right in the middle of it. Oh my gosh. I got adhesive everywhere. Okay, there we go. Now all we have to do is pop the inside inside and the card is done. Tomorrow night. You know what tomorrow night is, right? Collaboration night. It's drive me insane night. <laughs> What are we what are we playing with tomorrow night? Do you remember what I said? I don't remember. Let me look and see what we're playing with tomorrow night. The fifth. Oh, the Christmas season bundle. Huh. That'll be cool. I don't think I've used that much. There we go. There's the light of it and the dark coat. Oh, I didn't put my dimensionals under there. See how much room I've got. Yeah, I can put a big one. So now I'm just going to take a couple of dimensionals and pop them under here. So I'm just putting them right on top. Oh, do you see how I'm taking these off of here? Okay, the lid came off of one. Aha, the bling. Yes, the bling. I got to put the bling on. Thank you. Do you see how I'm using my dimensionals? It's not in a line. What is going on with me? So I'm just put, I'll show you where I put them. You see that, the edge of the, the um, arrow there? I'm just putting it right there so that the sentiment has more grip on it right there on either side bling bling i know no winky there's nowhere to put winky where would you like me to put the winky maybe i could put a little bit on there sure let's put winky on that'll just reactivate that ink just a little bit too and change the the look of that stamp you see that how it's doing that how it's just, it's reactivating the soft succulent and kind of filling in. Oh, that's so pretty. Good idea, guys. How about some in here? I'm not going to put a lot, just some highlights. Ooh, there's puffs on this one. That's cool. I like puffs. There we go. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of Wink of Stella. I'm going to hell in a handbasket. I am. I know. Like, I don't do that ever. But apparently I'm changing. You guys have a good influence on me. Okay. These things keep falling off. So one goes here, like that. And then we we'll use a couple of little ones. One there. And one there. I'm going rogue. <laughs> I'm going rogue. I am, I am. I'm going rogue. There we go. There's our gorgeous card. Isn't that stunning? 
Okay. I must admit, this is a really pretty card. wonder what it'd be like if you took and put some different designer paper down here underneath. You know, to make that point stand out a little bit more. Because it stands out really well here with the lighter designer paper. But it doesn't stand out quite as much. Maybe that's a good thing. It is... It is elegant. Thanks, Shannon. Oh, you're welcome, Janet. Thank you so much. So tomorrow night, we're going to do Christmas season. Stamp set. I need to send it. Maybe I'll put it in the mail to myself, Jean. <laughs> okay, we're going to play with the Christmas season um, bundle tomorrow night. This is what we're going to create a card with. It can be a Christmas card. It doesn't have to be a Christmas card. So do you want um, a fun fold or do you want me to bring designer paper and we'll go with inspiration from the designer paper? What do you think you'd like to get inspiration from for tomorrow night? Any ideas? Thank you, Carmen. Thanks, Connie. You think it's just, it's all right the way it is? I think it is. I think it is. I just want to see what it would look like if we kind of, oh yeah, I've got a dimensional in there now, so that's not going to work. It's going to lift that up. Let's see what happens if you put this underneath here. Tuck that in. No, that would be too stark. Thank you. Could always do it in winky. No, I think that'd be a little bit too much winky, Janet. Maybe winky dots. You gotta be really careful when you use a lot of Winkastella on dark cardstock. It tends to, it's okay on white, but on dark stuff, it tends to look really strange. But there, I have some winky dots on there now. There we go. Cotton paper underneath there, Shannon? Oh. Yeah, that cotton paper's the issue with putting anything underneath there is getting the the cut right. Okay, so nobody's coming up with anything that they want to use for inspiration for tomorrow night. So that means I got to find something. And I heard back from my next hostess for the next round of club. So now I know what bundle she wants to use and I don't have it. So I'm not sure what I want to do. She wants, she wants this one. She wants sweet stockings and it's really cute, but I don't have the bundle and I don't have the time to order the bundle to get it in, to create the cards, to get the kits out before stamping in December. So I'm thinking I might just use the designer paper and then we'll have to do a lot, have to do a bunch of fussy cutting. Fancy folds are always fun, Janet. They are. And we can definitely use a fancy fold tomorrow night. We can. We'll come up, I'll come up with something, I'm sure about five minutes to eight. <laughs> Okay, ladies, um, has anybody got any more questions while I just stamp the back of my card so that I don't forget to do it? Has anybody got any questions or suggestions or want to know anything? Don't forget the, um, the starter kit promotion is on now. In Canada, you get $165 worth of stuff for 100 bucks. So... What is that off? What percentage is that off? 
I didn't figure that out. 65 divided by 165. 40%. Look at that. You save 40% by getting the starter kit between now and the end of November. That's, good. That's a good savings, I'll tell you. Okay. The number I put on the back, Connie, is my control number. So when I send it to somebody, if they say to me, what did you use to make that card? I say, well, what's the number on the back of it? Because I have recipes and the numbers on the recipe. So I file these numerically so I can go back and say, well, I used soft succulent and evening evergreen or I used the Garden of Eden bundle. Then I can tell them what I've used on it. Because when I send a card to somebody, I don't remember what card I sent. Good night, Carmen. Good night, Yvonne. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And we'll catch you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on Zoom. Stampin' Smiles and bye for now.